So for the pure rotation part, since for the translation I've used point A as the as the reference, right? So the whole thing is translating at A A. So I'm going to use point A as the fixed point now. So if this is as if A is fixed, and as this this whole thing is rotating about point A. So the pure rotation. So pure rotation, the acceleration has two terms, two components. So this is the tangential component, and this is the normal component. So I'm going to draw these components here. Okay. So that is that term right there, which is uh, erase these things, which is I'm going to draw this as A, B, A tangent, okay, equals alpha cross R, okay, and then I have the normal component going that way, okay, into the point of rotation, and that is right, acceleration of B relative to A, normal, equal to this guy right there, negative omega square R. Okay, so now we've established this um, picture right here. And this is the kinematics diagram, right? So, next thing you do is just apply this equation. Okay, so left hand side is this right here. Okay, this is AB, right? This term, okay, AA, and then this is this, and this is that, the normal component. So now, this is the vector equation, which means that we need to split them into i and j components. This is the 2D motion, right? So I'm going to define, just for uh, convenience, i going to the right, j going up. Okay. So, so to solve for this equation right there, you need to know the i and j components of each of these guys right there. Okay, so maybe it's more convenient if you first write down the i and j okay, component and the vector okay, component of each of these quantities. Okay, and write them all down, list them, and then plug everything back into this equation. Okay, so I'm gonna do it down here. A B vector. Okay is pointing up this way, a 45 degree angle, right? So this is actually the magnitude of AB cosine 45 degrees I plus AB sine 45 degrees J, okay? You can flip cosine and sine as the same thing, right? So X component, Y component. And then for AA, same thing, okay? AA points down at 45 degrees, so split that into I and J components. So the I component is going to the right. So that's AA, and it's cosine 45, I. The J component now points down, so it's negative. Negative. Magnitude of AA, which is given at 3, right? Um, Sine 45, J. Next, this guy right there. Um, alpha, okay. Alpha itself. How's alpha pointing? Well, alpha, you know that it's counterclockwise. From right hand rule, again, alpha goes counterclockwise. So, K points out, okay? So that's the alpha magnitude K component, okay? I, J, and K. So K points out and alpha also points out. So that's positive K direction. 
and then this guy right there, R, the position of B relative to A. Position of B relative to A, vector is simply going from A right there. So that's your R, B, slash A. So this vector is exactly um, the magnitude of R, B slash A, and then going to the right, which is the I component. And you do know exactly how long this is. That's 10 meters. Right, so 10 I. And let's see what else. Now this is exactly that. So we've got that, and then this is the same. So that's it. So this is the whole list of things that you need. So just plug everything up here. Okay, put it together. So you can just split it into I and J component. Okay. So after you put everything together, split into two components, and then just uh, just group all the I components together. So for I, you have A B of cosine 45 plus A A of cosine 45. Okay. And then okay, so you do first need to find out what this cross product is. Okay. So so before we proceed actually, so let's find a cross product. Okay. So I'm gonna erase this now and and do a quick cross product calculation. Okay. And you know, I assume that you guys are familiar with the cross product calculations, but I'm going to do it and go over it real quick, okay? Vector A crossed with uh, vector B, okay? It's simply just using determinant, okay? So this cross product right there, cross, okay? Determinant, we have I, J, K. And then the second row is just a component of alpha, and alpha is only in the k direction. So the i component is 0, j component is 0, and the k com component is alpha, magnitude. The third row is the component of this r right there, which is 10i, and then 0j, 0k. Now, Go ahead and proceed the determinant. So for the first term, for the i term, it's uh, you just cross out these and then cross multiply. So zero zero and zero, so that's zero. For i component. J component. Zero times zero is zero. Okay. Plus and and uh, it's actually negative of that, so negative this, okay. and then um, this should be minus, okay, zero, and then minus ten alpha j, and then plus cross out the k, so you have zero and then zero, so the k component is zero, so only the j component is five, and Zero, uh, uh, negative, negative, and positive, so that's 10 alpha j. Okay? So alpha cross it with this r gives you j component. Okay? And, and look at it, it would make sense. Okay? Alpha here and it's in this positive k direction. So alpha is in the positive k. And R is in the I direction. So right hand rule says that I J go to K this way and then and back to this way. So K cross it with I. K cross it with I gives you positive J. So that's 